Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today's topic for the pick a card reading that I like to do each week is which star wants to bring you a miracle? I started contemplating this topic of miracles because I think a lot of us are going through tough stuff right now and we've got to remind ourselves that not everything is within our control and that sometimes that's a really good thing because when we think of things not being within our control we typically think that bad things will happen but sometimes not being in control is wonderful because better things than we can imagine can come into our lives so I really wanted to contemplate this thing of miracles at this point in time. The other thing is, I thought, well, let's work with the Mahapurusha, Mahapurusha yoga set. So I drew all these on these cards that you can see here, these lovely with this pattern on it. And there are five, right? So there are five of these yogas. Now these two did not make the cut. So we can see here that Venus didn't make it and Mercury didn't make it. So the energy that we've got here, we've got really, we've got the big planets, we've got the big players here. We've even got Saturn amongst the mix. Okay, I won't say where, but isn't that incredible? We've got the big planets really wanting to be part of this reading. And before I shuffled these five cards, uh, I remembered saying to myself or saying to the guides or angels or whatever that, oh, oh please, please no Saturn. <laughs> and then Saturn turns up, right, in one of them. So, you know, he does want to be part of these readings. I kind of thought, I, I always thought maybe Saturn thinks tarot readings are childish or something like that. Not at all. Saturn loves to make an appearance in these and values this skill and this craft and he definitely wants to be here so that's fantastic so we got the big the big heavyweight planets as part of this reading i don't have much of an intro guys just wanted to say that you know it's it's worth looking at miracles it's worth remembering that okay we are going through tough stuff right now but things out of our control it's not always a bad thing right? It's very possible that really, really good things are being cooked up for us. And that's what I believe. I always believe that when we're going through something really tough, believe me, the, the earth is going to renew. We're going to have amazing times ahead. We might have to wait, but it's going to be worth the wait. So anytime you feel like it, pick from group one, group two, or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Now, as with any of my readings, what I ask everyone to do is please use your own intuition as we go. See what comes up for you as you look at the symbolism of the cards. Take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Okay, so we've got the tower upright. What a start. <laughs> that is pretty amazing. What a way to start a reading, right? Okay, and we have got the Hierophant in reverse. Love the gold foiling on these cards. This links in with the sign Taurus. We have got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So we've got the Earth signs that we could be dealing with. Okay, so the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have got the truth card. I got a new deck. This is called, let me tell you what this is, Sacred Mysteries deck. I absolutely love this deck. And can you notice the birds chirping outside quite loudly as this card is being talked about? That is really interesting. I think we're being given a bit of a sign that you are to speak up. Okay, you're to speak truth, you're to speak up. And that's your truth, okay? Don't worry about 
we'll get into that. <laughs> we will get into that. Like, don't worry about, um, you know, right and wrong kind of thing. Truth is truth. There is such a thing. I've been contemplating this a lot lately, guys. We've got 16 radiance. So we've got, in terms of numbers we have, that adds to a one, this adds to a seven. So those of you who are into numerology, that can be important there. But I mean, truth, that's a number one card. That's a leadership card that's uh and the birds are still shouting out there so that is quite a bit of a sign guys 16 radiance now what i love about this deck is at the bottom it has a, a band of color and that band of color is basically telling us which chakra you are working with okay so you're definitely working with your root and you're definitely working with your fifth so you do need to speak up about something okay now as for which star is cooking up a miracle for you i can tell you it's saturn you're the lucky one who got saturn as i said in my introduction i kind of thought about how does saturn feel about tarot readings would he think it's childish and i'm getting the vibe very strongly from saturn not at all saturn wants to be here saturn loves this craft i think and i think he really respects it it's an age-old craft you know reading tarot i was reading up on the history of it and you know with these cards back in the old days the kings and queens would have their own faces painted into their deck of cards isn't that amazing and they would paint on real gold so it's such a beautiful thing right let's take a look at what this means for you okay i'm sure you're getting some ideas as to what this means but i'm going to tell you my version of events we've got the birds shouting even louder now so it's quite interesting I think you're definitely being given a message to speak your truth. I think you're definitely being given encouragement to speak up. Okay. And I think this is, it could be to do with your workplace. We've got Saturn here in the 10th, right? But I also do believe that there's something going on here with your family, actually. And we've got this card here which there are many ways to read the hierophant reversed but i'm going to read it in the context of family family values family traditions so i get the sense that there's something about your truth that conflicts and contrasts with perhaps how you were raised and I'm getting a strong feeling that the divine is saying to, to seek your path, to seek your truth. That's going to give you the most growth and that's going to be the most beneficial because change is happening. Change is here, right? Change is all around you. Everything's changing. There's a huge amount of change and you'll be served if you follow your own truth. Okay, that's going to serve you the most through all of this change. I do think that this is in relation to family. It could be a number of things. It could be, you know, it could be a young person who maybe you've fallen in love with someone and, and your family doesn't approve of them. Or maybe, do you know, this could even be, I was thinking about a couple of friends of mine who they got married recently they were living with their parents because the whole corona thing hit and they had to go home they went home but the family is very worried about germs and things like that and they have all these very strict rules anyway they had to leave because it got too oppressive it got it got too difficult and they decided we're, we're going to go and get our own place and you know it had been difficult now this getting your own place thing why is that coming up that's coming up because this is upside down in reverse. This is typically a card of independent wealth, actually. When it's in its upright position, this is a single woman who's very wealthy. She's single and independent and enjoying her own wealth. Now, when it's in the reverse position, what I'm getting the sense is that you are, you're possibly stuck with family, okay? But there might be some challenges going on with family at the moment because this is in the reverse position you're dependent on someone financially there's something to do with money and yes you being tied up okay 
despite this, and, and obviously this is, this is not a great situation, but despite this, you're being asked above all else to be you. Okay, be true to who you are. The fact of the matter is that you're different, you know, and different is wonderful. Okay, I, for me, I deliberately love people who are different, you know, <laughs> like, uh, and that, and one of the things I was thinking about here is that this, this Saturn position, because I was thinking about Aquarius, Aquarius always loves people who are very different, right? Y you know, um, Aquarius is the rebel, Aquarius, yeah, it, it's fascinated by people who aren't the norm. That's impressive to an Aquarius, you know. Uh, and I was thinking about that this Saturn position, th there could be Aquarius here, where the seven is, there could be an 11 there, definitely. So the Aquarian energy is, is, is present here, uh, for sure. So, yeah, I, I just get the feeling that, that you need to be you. And that's going to take you somewhere. Now, in terms of answering this question, because I always should be mindful of answering the question, what, which star wants to bring you a miracle? I'm just reading that from my screen. Okay, which star wants to bring you a miracle? It's absolutely, I'm going to talk about this Radiance card in a moment. It's absolutely Saturn. Saturn wants to bring you a miracle. Now, when Saturn brings you a miracle, guess what? It's going to take a lot of time. Okay, there's no quick fix or easy resolve to the situation that you're in. He's cooking up something amazing for you but it's going to take a lot of time. I would say what he's cooking up for you is this, you being independently wealthy, right? That is on in the cards on the table. It's here, you've manifested it. No question about it. This is yours. Saturn wants to bring this into your world. It's currently in the upside down position because he's kind of saying, look, I'm cooking this up for you. It's going to take time and in fact, the fact that you don't have this could be a source of pain and tension. You know what I mean? You could think to yourself, God, if only I was this, if only I had loads of money and I could be independently wealthy and I could get out of, you know, this, right? Which could be, you know, a difficult home situation, could be a difficult marriage partnership, any of those things. Um, and I'm just saying it's difficult for now because it's in the reverse position. Okay, so the other thing, that, so I'm definitely not saying that your family is bad or that your partner is bad or any of those things. I'm not saying that because in their own right, you know, they're fine too kind of thing. Judgment is a very tricky business because when you really step into their shoes and, you know, pretend like because you have to forget all the things you know. In some cases, when you step into someone else's shoes, hmm, this is interesting, when you step into someone else's shoes, you can't do so with the knowledge that you have because you're probably very awakened, right? You have to step into their shoes and then put on a whole load of conditioning that you've probably dropped. It's very difficult to do. It can be very difficult to empathize. So... It's, it's, it's a sticky situation, but I, I also see that Saturn is cooking up for you. So, I mean, what he's cooking up for you is this, is this independent wealth. I think he's also cooking up for you a beautiful partnership, a beautiful marriage. And let's say that's a few years from now, okay? That might seem like ages away, but in reality, it's not. I, I'm sure I've said this in card readings before where I've said things like, you know, if, if someone said to you that you, you meet the love of your life in five years and you might be really distressed, you might be like, oh no, that's ages away. But then if you think about it, that you've got five years to really get yourself together, pay off all your debts, do all the things you want to do, learn all the things you want to learn, be the person you want to be. And you might th start thinking to yourself, gosh, actually, that's, I'm glad I've got five years to myself. You know, because, because what the, the partnership that's coming in, especially if Saturn is cooking it up for you, it's going to be for ages, right? He's, he's not going to give you someone that you just have for a couple of weeks and then see you later. No, he wants to, he wants to set you up. So I do think that the miracles 
the miracle that, that you know, Saturn wants to bring you, I think, I think it is a brand new life, actually. It's a brand new life. It's currently in the upside down position, I believe, because he's kind of saying, I'm cooking this up. I'm making that and it's going to take time. Right now you're in change, you're in chaos. It doesn't feel great. You'll have to speak your truth, which at times may be uncomfortable and difficult. The best place of retreat for you is going to be in building terrific, radiant, beautiful health. That's going to be the best thing that you can do now, right? So in terms of what actions can I do now, what can I, you know, how, how can I start resolving this situation? And how can I speed it up here with Saturn? Now what Saturn wants, always, is a little bit each day, right? He doesn't want you to do the whole thing at once. He wants you, it's compound interest, you've got to do a tiny bit each day. So it is doing the breathing exercises five minutes per day. Or maybe you decide, I'm going to do a two minute plank every day. Or something small, start small. And it's amazing, starting is usually the hard part. Once you start, then you get into this rhythm and when you miss a day, you'll feel uncomfortable about it, right? I think what he really wants you to do is to build incredible health at the moment. You're going to need that to be able to enjoy what's coming, okay? What's being built behind the scenes. And there is a lot. Saturn's bringing a lot in for you, but it's going to take time. It is taking time. But it's going to be worth the wait. It, it really is. And the other thing that you can be doing in the now, so we've got root chakra, building your health. And look, that could be that could be doing five minutes of yoga per day. It could be doing something like, I don't know, quitting a quitting an addiction that you might have or something like that, or something that you know is not good for you. I'll tell you, I'll give you an example of something I've just been doing the last few days. Um, music. I I am addicted to Spotify and you know I, I watched this thing and it was all about musical frequencies and apparently we've been listening to the wrong frequency and I've been getting headaches and I've been trying to figure out how do I resolve these headaches. So anyway I've done some research and I found out that 432 hertz is the best kind of music to listen to. So one of the things I've been doing, I did it just today, was I downloaded some songs from YouTube and I've converted them to 432 hertz. And I'm going to make this my year of only listening to 432 hertz music, if I can. And I'm sure I'm going to see an improvement with these recurring migraines and headaches that I get. So I'm going to make this year my year of, can I resolve the headache thing? And yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing these little small things in order to be able to, to make that happen. So uh, one of the things I did, which was very difficult, was quitting coffee. I've talked about that before. But, you know, so if, if you can enjoy that and, and you're healthy with it, don't worry about that. You'll know what you need to do. You know what I mean? You'll know. You'll know which thing you need to change or if it's a health thing. Or maybe you just need to add more leafy greens to your diet or something like that. But um, I feel like big, 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 massive things are being manifested and they're going to take time. And that's just the nature of Saturn. So... Guys, I hope this has been a good reading. Let me know in the comments below how you got on with this. And take care out there and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, you are in the right place. All right, let's take a look at your tarot cards. That's just a car passing by. Apologies, guys, if, the, if it's a bit noisy today. I'll tell you what, it's 34 degrees outside and it's really, really hot. So um, I've got the door open and it's going to be a bit noisy. Okay, as with any of my readings, make sure you use your discernment. Make sure you take on board what resonates or discard what doesn't. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm-hmm. See, we've got some fire energy here and it's 34 degrees here in Sydney, Australia. So if you're watching from the Northern Hemisphere, I envy you because I hear that there's a lot of snow and I love snow. Okay, the Hierophant in reverse. 
That's amazing. We just had Hierophant in group number one. My goodness, guys. That's just amazing. Yeah, I did see these earlier, but I'd forgotten that part because I just had a very quick look at them. We've got the Three of Cups in reverse. Whoops, there we go. I think that'll do. Okay, and we've got Oracle cards number 21, Power. This is a beautiful deck. I'm just, it's called Sacred Mysteries. It's really good. Uh, power. Okay, and the colors at the bottom, there's a band of color at the bottom that represents which chakra? It's root chakra. Okay. That is what you're going to need to work with. And same as group number one, actually, they had some root chakra stuff as well. Okay, number 19, right action. Beautiful. And as for which star wants to bring you a miracle, I was shuffling the Mahapurusha. There's a typo here, <laughs> a handwritten typo, guys. Um, I forgot a U. Mahapurusha Hamsa Yoga. So that's Jupiter in own or exaltation sign in Kendra house. So that's beautiful. That's, yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, let's take a look at what all of this means. This is a this is a really interesting spread. I like this spread. I like this spread a lot. I think what the divine is asking of you is just that you slow down and spend more time at home. Yes, for sure. I get the sense that a lot is being cooked up for you and I actually think if you're single, great news, I do think an amazing, 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 amazing partnership wants to manifest and I think that is the miracle that Jupiter wants to bring in for you. Jupiter wants to bring in someone who's going to be absolutely gosh what's this person going to be like? Let's see if I can tune in. The first word I'm getting is dreamy protective, sensual, this wonderful, beautiful person, right? Really, it, it, that, that is one of the miracles anyway that, that Jupiter wants to bring into your world. But it's kind of on ice for now. These are in the reverse position. And how I'm reading this, I am going to read this as marriage. In group one, I think I read it for them as marriage as well, but I also read it as family. I'm specifically getting a partnership vibe and I'm specifically, especially if you're a lady watching this, this is a husband coming in, okay? Uh, because we've got Jupiter here. Jupiter's at home in the fourth house. He's the best place for him to possibly be. And I do think that Jupiter is manifesting a, an amazing partner for you. If you're currently in a relationship, then hang tight. I think things are going to improve. It's a cycle. It's a phase. It's a stage. It's not going to last forever. Okay. So if things are a bit tough in your relationship now, or you're wondering, you know, why are we at a bit of a rough patch? You know, yeah, I, I, I can understand. But these, these really, you've manifested them. They want to be in their upright position. They're just in their upside down position for now. And I'm getting a strong sense that this is just meaning delay. It's not meaning too much more than that. Okay, so I'm not getting any negative vibes or negative feelings from <clears throat> these cards being in their reverse position. This being in its reverse position, this Three of Cups, normally this is a beautiful card of celebration, of great times, of fun, of laughter, of friends, family, all these beautiful things. It's in its upright position. I'm really getting a strong sense from this that it's not the time <laughs> to be celebrating or partying or doing too much of that. It's really the time for you to retreat and be at home. Today I did an Instagram post. If you'd like to check my Instagram, you're very welcome to have a look. 
But I happen to write about the fact that when Saturn is transiting through the 10th house, which he is doing here now at the moment, the best thing for us to do, if we're not directly involved, the best thing for us to do is to be as far away from Saturn as we can get. Now, where is that? That's at home. <laughs> okay. So if you're at home, if you are, um, and that's the other thing, it, this could be career as well, guys. This, this could be, I'm also seeing that here for you. This could be creative leadership and, and some kind of leadership position. Okay. That is true. So if let's say it, it is job or love, that is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That is coming up. Okay. So look, if you're currently not working and you're not, I remember when I worked um, at Accenture a long time ago, it was a consultancy. And when you weren't on a project, you were on the bench or on the beach. They would say either way, but you, you weren't needed. And anybody who was on the bench or on the beach was typically depressed, right? None of us wanted to be not needed. And what I can say, and I've felt a little bit like, you know, I'm not doing so much at the moment. I am doing, I'm working every day, but like, you know, I'm not working in the capacity that I used to. I used to have a bit of a career. I used to be out in the world. I used to travel, I used to do things, and now I'm not at, at all. And sometimes it has felt a bit, like I felt a bit redundant or a bit like, okay, well, I'm not needed. Or, and I'm not saying that, oh gosh, we've got all these cars coming. Why do we have cars now? Hmm, I, don't, I wonder if the camera's picking that up. And I was talking about being redundant. I was talking about being not needed. Yeah, because exactly, because and I'm in here in this room and they're on the go and they're out there. Okay, I know what's going on here. Sometimes we can feel like if you're waiting for either a job to come through, maybe you're not working, maybe you're not on the world scene, maybe you're thinking, when is it going to be my time? You know, all this kind of thinking, right? And what I will say is that, and this is something I felt really strongly today, I felt so grateful for doing what I do for a living now. And I felt so grateful for building this small business and, and being where I am. And where I am is kind of like this Jupiter here, because I'm very much working from home, you know, in a cozy place, working at my own pace. It's all very nice. And I'm very lucky that I get to do this. But like, you know, but it, it, it is, it can be difficult financially because it's not, you know, I do need to be doing something else uh, to keep the bills going. But anyway, that's not manifesting, right? And so I could be down about that. But what I'm saying is that with Saturn being in this place here in the 10th house, if you're not being tested by Saturn and if you're not in those big high power positions, count yourself extremely, extremely lucky. We've got a plane in the sky now. Can you hear that? Gosh, we've got all these modes of transport. What is going on? There's been no planes for like days and days. Yeah, see, it's, it's this frustration of being at home and all these people are out on the world stage, on the move, they're going somewhere and you know, you might be in this position thinking, when is it gonna be my turn? When is something gonna happen for me? No, what we have to do if we're in this position here is we have to think how absolutely lucky we are because Saturn is testing people in a very full-on way, right? If you're not out in the world seeing right now, having to manage loads of people and have your head on the chopping block, quite frankly, count yourself very, very lucky. There are gonna be better times Definitely, well, when Saturn moves into Aquarius, things will start to get better, but you imagine Saturn's gonna go all the way through here. There's gonna be much better times for us to enjoy excellent careers and to pick up the pace of life and to do better. So if, if you're feeling like you're not needed so much now, that is such a blessing such a blessing that I cannot tell you. I don't know why that had to come out. That had to come out for some reason. So there you have it. Now let's take a look at these cards. So we've got the message that that an amazing career, and I would say definitely a very romantic, passionate partnership is being manifested for you. It's in the works. It's a miracle. It's coming. 
it, it, it will take time, okay? Not as long as the group one thing. Group one, I think that will take a long time because that was Saturn and Jupiter. It should be a bit quicker, but again, I'm not, I'm not clear on exactly when, but it's going to take time. In the near future, in the immediate to near future, socializing, not really great time for that. So we can see that. Now, Oracle cards. This is really asking you to work with your root chakra at this time, okay? Power. Divine wants you to become a lot, lot more powerful and a lot stronger. And I think that's why this spiel happened because you need to get ready for the time when you're gonna be on the world stage, where you're gonna be in focus, where you're gonna be tested here. You will be, you will be but it may be some time away. You have to get ready, okay? And you've got to get ready physically. Root chakra is physical. It's very physical. It's our physical body. It's our strength. It's our power. And this is a really amazing time for you to become physically powerful, to become physically strong, okay? I talked a little bit about this in the group one reading. You're very similar to group one this time. So if you feel like watching that, you're very welcome. Right action. There goes another car. The car just started up. Seriously, there are like so many. Okay, everyone's on the go. There's something for somebody. I don't know why. And a plane. Can you imagine that we've hardly had any planes in the sky? Okay, weird. I hope all of that comes up on the microphone. The cicada noise might be drowning it out. I don't know. Right action. What's the right action going to be? The right action is going to be... The right actions are going to be waiting, right? Waiting for the, the, the beautiful miracles that Jupiter is clocking up for you. Waiting for those. The right action is going to be socializing less, okay? There's going to be better times for socializing. And it, it, look, it can be hard. I know it can be difficult. I've got some friends who are quite extroverted and they, yeah, they just keep going out and, um, but even they need a break, you know, <laughs> like that's one of them, she, yeah, she, she's needed to take a bit of time out. It's amazing because she's always on the go and her health has asked her to slow down. And I, I kind of, I'm getting a bit of a slow down health message here. Otherwise you run the risk of being burnt out. I do think that that's, that's going to be important. You, you could be, if you keep going at the pace that you're going, I feel like you might, be, um, you might be a candidate for burnout. So make sure you do a little bit of exercise each day or total rest and relaxation each day. You might need to, we've got root chakra here twice. So I'm kind of getting a sense that you need to meditate. You need to slow down. You need to do a bit less possibly you might need to relax that might be your your challenge really learning what your body is like at true rest true restfulness is your body ever truly restful I, yeah look at that i do think because jupiter in this position here one of the things about this beautiful hamsa yoga protection meaning passion but it is kind of it is that, and it is sort of that ultimate husband figure as well, who just, you know, wants you to rest and relax and do nothing. So either if you're a man listening to this, you'll be that man for some lucky lady, or if you're a lady listening to this, I do think that's the kind of man that's coming through. He's going to be a responsible, take charge, ace of wands, passionate, but hierophant, traditional, responsible beautiful man coming in we've got jupiter here so that's why i'm saying because for a lady um you know jupiter is is the man in her chart so yeah i i i see miracles coming through it's going to take time nothing's happening straight away i think the thing that can happen straight away that would be really great that would be really amazing is for you to really nurture your physical body and take a little bit of time out from socializing if that feels right to you. And that'll be a good thing. So group number two, I do hope this has been a nice reading for you. You're very welcome to let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading. I hope it's been good. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.
Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Oh yes, I remember you, group three. You got an extra card, you lucky people. Look at this. So you got the devil. What a start. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's quite interesting. We are in the time of the devil, people, with Saturn moving through Capricorn. Remember, the devil is Capricorn. So we're all going through this right now everybody on the planet. We will be for another two years. But this has come up in particular in your reading, so let's take a look. Now as with any of my readings, oh look at that, you got the Three of Cups upright. How beautiful! Oh I love this card. Yeah that's stunning. Upright. We had it actually, gosh we had this just in group number two, but that was in reverse. And I love this one because it's got it's these beautiful seals and they're just looking quite a little bit more playful aren't they? That's really cute. Um, what was I saying? I'm a bit scattered today, aren't I? Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, so uh, as with any of my readings, have I said this part? <laughs> Please make sure you take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't, okay? Because quite a few people are coming in to watch this and certain messages will be for you, certain messages will be for other people. Okay, so you've got the two of cups upright. How beautiful. Hang on, my mic is dropping. Okay, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Now this was the bonus card that came out, so you're the only one who got four. Because it absolutely leapt out, I thought I better take it, right? So I took it. And it makes sense why it's turned up. Okay, you've got number 34, Dialogue. Now the deck is called Sacred Mysteries, I think. So in case you're wondering where this is from, this is an absolutely beautiful card. I, my guess is that Saraswati. Pretty sure I got that right. <laughs> okay, and we've got Serenity. We've got a crocodile here, which again matches the Devil card, okay? So that is fascinating because the crocodile, Capricorn, 10th house. Now look at, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Look at what star came through for you, Mars in the 10th. So I shuffled five cards and you've got Mars in the 10th, right? Mars in own sign in the 10th house. Absolutely incredible. So what am I going to interpret from all this lot? Well, firstly, one thing straight away that's really very interesting is that we've got a lot of blue. We've got a lot of uh, and blue and in terms of the chakra colors that we're working with here, for you, we're working with this very light lilac, which I would say is the seventh chakra for sure, and this beautiful purple, which would be the sixth, right? So we're working with the higher chakras. We've also got the blue here. And yeah, I mean, it's clearly blue, not too much green. There is a little bit of green coming through, a sort of aqua green type thing coming through, which is some heart energy, sure. But we're really, for you, we're dealing with the higher chakras, okay? So that's really interesting straight away. In terms of answering the question, which is, which star wants to bring you a miracle? I would say it's Mars. And I think Mars really wants to bring you, and again, this is a little bit like group two, the, he, he wants to bring you an amazing career, but I, I actually think he wants to bring you a twin flame partnership. So it's not just a career or it's not just a partnership. In group two, I kind of got the distinct sense that it was a partnership that was to be brought through for group two people. For you guys, it's a twin flame kind of thing and it's the kind of partnership that is in service to the divine. It's so interesting because these last few weeks, every time I've drawn for group three, there is some form of love that's coming through. So that I don't know if we have any consistent group three people who just keep consistently choosing group three, but they could be because there are always cards coming about love in group three. It's pretty amazing. You guys are really ripe and ready for love. You really want to love someone. You, you, you're ready. There's no doubt about that. 
And I get the sense that, and it's like, why is it taking time for this person to manifest? I think there might be a little bit of that. I think you might be kind of wondering, okay, yeah, I know I'm ready to meet this person. And I know our love can change the world, right? I think the only thing that might be slightly holding you back, I think you just need to focus on you a bit more and focus on your career a bit more, your passion, your art, your creativity. I think you need some time on your own. And you need, I, I think you really need to, to fully, fully, fully get to know yourself on a very, very deep level. And I feel like once you've done that, this whole thing will come in for you. I also do think that there might be a delay simply out of practicalities, out of the fact that people aren't really getting on planes, people aren't really flying around, people aren't really going out. The mood kind of isn't there for meeting, for, for being together or for reuniting or whatever it is that has to happen for you in terms of you being with this twin flame person of yours. I feel like, yeah, it's just the thing that you can be doing in support of, so Mars wants to bring this in. And I do think, you know, it's, it's really interesting because Mars is passion, right? Mars and Venus together are passion for sure. But Mars, it is that, that masculine energy. And I feel like, so definitely if it is that you're a lady waiting to meet your man, I feel like he's, he's there too, out there somewhere, of course. But it's just the times. And it could, could well be, and this is the Saturn in Capricorn thing. I did mention that earlier, that we've got Saturn in Capricorn. I mean, it might be as literal as this being a couple of years away, okay? If we're looking at Saturn's transit through the 10th house, he's going to be there for another couple of years, okay? So it could be that you're waiting. And now for the other two groups, I wasn't able to give a time frame, but here I am able to give a little bit of a time frame to say that I really do think that in a couple of years, you know, you should be either being reunited with someone or together with your partner or meeting that special someone. I, I do think that's a very, very strong possibility. This has also come in. This is, this is about your work as well. And I think that what you can be doing in the meantime, we've got the crocodile here, which is Capricorn. This is Capricorn. You've got Mars in the 10th here and you've got this. I kind of feel like if you work on your divine purpose some more, which you are doing, like I feel that strongly, I feel like you're doing it. I, I feel like, and that's why you're bringing a twin flame in because you're on the path, you're doing it, okay? Otherwise, I think twin flame may not even be coming into the picture. I do tend to think that twin flame comes for those people who are on their divine path. Otherwise, you'll have other types of relationships to do You'll have other karmas to burn through. You'll have other things to deal with. I do think twin flame happens when you're really on your path and actively doing your path. So I think my only guidance and advice really is, and we just had a car go there. In group two, we had about a million cars, okay? So, <laughs> so we've just got one there, movement. Yeah, and, and, and I think movement is a little bit of a thing, and that's interesting because I was just about to come up to this. This dialogue card, at first I was thinking it might mean dialoguing with your person. I was thinking that, I was wondering, is this, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's you dialoguing with the divine. It's you dialoguing with your higher self. It's you bringing your art through. It's you studying. It's you bringing in the great, skills that you've clocked up over many lifetimes that's what you're meant to do okay bring the music in bring the music through what did Wayne Dyer said he what did Wayne Dyer say he said 
uh, don't die with the music still in you, okay? And I'm saying don't die with the music still in you and don't wait for this person to come along to be happy. Don't wait for them. Be happy now and be you and, and bring your crafts through your skills, through your art, through bring the music through bring through who you are and this is really you dialoguing with your higher self this is you dialoguing with the universe this is you bringing your artistry through and as long as you're doing that and sharing that with the world sharing that with the world on the world scene in, in whatever way you can it's kind of difficult at the moment you know with all the lockdowns and all that kind of thing but see what you can do see what technologies you can access see how you can share who and what you are this time is going to pass and if you're feeling like things have been quite tough during this Saturn in Capricorn period they are, it is. We're all being tested in relation to this. Hang on, let's bring that up. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We're all feeling the limits. We really are. We're all coming up against limits. We're all being tested. You know, and there are some people who are doing the testing as well. I saw today a video of Brian Rose being arrested, right? And I saw this incredible thing. I saw one of my old co-workers <laughs> come onto the screen. I was like, I worked with that guy. It was so funny. But like, you know, and he was one of the people being arrested, right? <laughs> so, so what's the deal with that? I, I, I watched the police lady who was doing the arresting. Do you know what I mean? And like, for some of us, that's, a, that's the role that has to be played. Like, I'm, I'm so lucky I, I, I get to do this peaceful beautiful divine work that I get to do I feel extremely fortunate but imagine if you have to be in the shoes of that police lady and you have to be arresting somebody and you don't want to be you know but I, it's it's just a little while longer yet okay uh, don't lose hope don't lose faith you got Mars or Chaka Yoga I mean quite frankly this is oh, Gee, I dream about Ruchaka Yog. You know, if I had one of these, the coolest people have this. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Sasha, Sasha Baron Cohen has this. I can't remember exactly, but this is an amazing yoga to have. And, and this has come up for you. This is a terrific star. This is a great place for Mars. Mars is giving you that strength. He's saying, be strong now and you'll be able to cash in when when the timing is right and the timing is going to be right it is going to be right I'm I honestly I'm totally just oh, like I don't have words enough to say how amazing what you have is that's coming look at that right it's you with the love of your life spreading it everywhere you go with people right all around the world quite possibly you know this crocodile here is, is it is the world stage it is Capricorn it is this position here the world has to heal first and get better though before you can be doing this so remember that everything's happening for you and not to you okay it's all happening for you so the world is being cleaned out for you okay and if, you, know, you might not believe me you might be like oh no it's not for me yeah it is it is, it's being done for you, the whole, let's say it is, that the world is being totally arranged and cleaned up and cleared out, just for you, just for you and your love who's coming in. Imagine that, imagine that. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, my voice is just totally packed up, guys. I think that's my cue to stop talking. Oh. <laughs> I wish I had a glass of water, but I don't. And there's another car. I think we've come to the end of this reading, guys. Group number three, I hope this has been good for you. I, as I say, things are a little bit distant in the distance, and I would say a couple of years away. 
in all honesty, but what's coming is very divine and it's it's stunning. And it's it's all the look at the color scheme here, it's all the high uh, very, very high spiritual vibrations, right? This is all lofty, beautiful stuff. And Mars is giving you that power, that strength. It's going to come in. It's going to happen. You're going to create it. It will take a bit of time, but, but hang in there, okay? So good things are on the way. So I'm sending you lots of well wishes, lots of love, group three. Take care. Let me know how you get on with this reading below. I really love to read your comments. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.